Hi, Jana here, and in this video, I'm going to quickly go over how to set up a conditional question where if you ask a yes or no uh, question and, or a question with a yes or no answer, uh, then if they answer yes, you ask a follow-up question that gets them to take a photograph. Uh, so a very common use case for this would be if you're doing um, a survey where you're asking um, a question where you want one an observation. So often like in um, uh, water sanitation and hygiene programming, we might ask um, to see a toilet or to see a hand washing station just to see an observation if there's soap at the hand washing station or uh, I mean you can do this in if, if you're kind of reviewing a clinic setup or if you're uh, or if you're re you're reviewing um, a distribution center um, you can use observation questions just to back up and get evidence for the answer to your question so let's jump right in I've got my XLS form open and if you can see here um, all it is is we're going to ask a select one question so that gives us a multiple choice uh, question um, and the name of the choice list is yes no so if we go into our choices list uh, which is just the second tab here then we can see a list name of yes no and then we have one option that says yes and one option that says no so going back to the survey uh, you've asked this question the question name is toilet and um, the label so the question that will appear in your app in your questionnaire on your phone is do you have a toilet in your house and we've just said required this is a required question then we're going to ask a follow-up question to take a picture please take a photo of the toilet um, this is a required and the it's only relevant so under the relevant column this is where it becomes a conditional question so it's only relevant if the answer to toilet okay so you can see that little um, reference back to this name here if toilet is yes okay so the type of question is an image if we want to take a photo um, and that is the setup so let's jump right into our ODK um, app. Okay, so this is the ODK Collect app. And that very first question, do you have a toilet in your house? This is just what it looks like when it comes up on your phone. And you can answer yes or no. If you answer yes, and then swipe forward, it will then ask this follow up question, please take a photo of the toilet. So you can take a picture. And I am literally just looking at this screen and you can see there we go um, so we've actually just taken that picture and obviously you would want to take a picture of your uh, toilet if you're doing that as an observation but I have just taken a picture of my um, computer screen which is great and um, so then that picture will actually appear right in your ODK um, questionnaire and then you can swipe forward and you would then save the form and exit. Now if we did that again and just as an example we chose no we don't have a toilet in our house um, and then swiped forward actually that question about the photograph taking an image would never appear because we've made it conditional on you have to answer yes. Um, so that is it. That is how to create a conditional question that if you answer yes, um, you would then follow up with a picture uh, or a question asking to get, take a picture. Um, hopefully that helps you in some regard as you're creating your next ODK form. Um, if you like tips like this about ODK or Kobo Toolbox or um, any other humanitarian data management, then it would be great if you subscribe to the channel and um, yeah, you'll get notifications when we create new videos here. Okay, have a great day.